since for these computations we need to know sometimes when it's specific number of days we need to be aware of how many days are there in a month for those of us who are aware you can skip this but for others this little rhyme may help us remember the number of days in each month 30 days have september april june and november all the rest have 31 except february which has 28 days clear and 29 in each leap year so february only has 28 days and 29 days in each leap year leap year arises every 4 years in order to compute a leap year we can divide the year by 4 if it is exactly divisible it would be a leap year if not it is a non leap year having 28 days in february to take an example if we take 2010 20010 divided by 4 it is not exactly divisible So two thousand ten is not a leap year. Not a leap year. If we take two thousand twelve by four, it is divisible, and therefore two thousand twelve is a leap year. This is one way of remembering the number of days in a month. another way is a way of using the fist we could take the fist and the knuckles the upper portions are all 31 lower is not 31 so it would be january february march april may june july august So July and August both have thirty-one days: September, October, November, December. So January has thirty-one days. February does not have thirty-one days. In fact, February has twenty-eight days or twenty-nine days. Twenty-nine days in a leap year divisible by four, otherwise twenty-eight days. March thirty-one days. April thirty days. May thirty-one days. June thirty. July thirty one, August again thirty one, September thirty, October thirty one, November thirty, December thirty. This is another way of remembering the number of days in a month. 